Hey guys, this is Scott Harmer. I'm with Motor Sports Land here in Salt Lake City. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new 2020 Winnebago Spider 23FB. So this is a 23 foot box in a toy hauler bumper pull style. Um, we'll kind of go through the inside and the outside to kind of show you some of the, the neat things that, they, that they've done about these. Um, first off, you'll right notice you've got some aluminum steps going up to the front. These are nice, they're nice and solid, but they're also aluminum so they'll never rust and stuff over the, over the years. Um, Something like this. Most most trailers have a screen door, but having a screen door that that automatically closes it if it ever gets left open is pretty neat. It's got a, a stretchy band on a screenshot is what it's called, but just kind of a neat little thing like that. Um, you'll notice you've got a full size awning that almost covers the entire front side. It's lit up with beautiful LED light strip down there so you can kind of see the reflection off the high gloss fiberglass down as well as the awning. And again, it's even got a Porsche LED light as well. Um, coming over to the front, you've got a 10 gallon hot water heater. Most uh, trailers will have a six gallon hot water heater. So it's a 10 with a high recovery. That's going to get you a lot better um, shower time. On board, you've got 100 gallons of fresh water. So having a 10 gallon hot water heater is going to be really nice. You can take almost like a real shower at that point. Real big, huge storage under the bed. You'll also notice you've got slam latches on all of your compartment doors. And that's a good thick insulated door too. It's, you know, the actual thickness of the, of the trailer wall. Um, coming across the front, you've got a fiberglass cap. This is how you tell a nice trailer from a really nice trailer, because this is kind of where all the abuse of a trailer gets as you're driving down the road. So to have a nice, big, thick fiberglass cap, not only does it help for the insulation of the trailer, but it just really makes it so that it doesn't uh, have any, any abuse to the front of it or delamination. You've got a nice diamond plate on the front to protect the front from rock chips and your, you know, kind of your um, road construction areas. Um, you've got a power tongue jack. It's got a nice light on it as well, so you can kind of have a you know settings if you're going on and off at, at night or if you're going on and off your, your equalizer jack. Some of this helps out because you're going to have to go down, hook onto your ball, come back up, swing your arms, come back up to bring your, your legs up. So doing that you know with automatic jack is really nice. Um, you've got two big seven and a half gallon propane tanks here. That's going to be enough to keep you going all season long. And then you've got a tray here where we'll put two big deep cycle batteries in here. You can opt for the six volts or 12 volts, whatever you like to do here. Um, combination, if you go with your different batteries, you do have two 100 watt solar panels on the top of this. They're the flex panels, not the ones that kind of raise up higher and catch the air. They're actually the flex panels that are smooth adhere to the top of the trailer. Really nice option there. Kind of keeps your batteries charged up at all times. You've got the Onan 4000. This is the best generator in the industry. Um, if you see a, a generator like this in a trailer that's, that's not the Onan, um, be aware they've, they've skimped out in a lot of areas before that. So the Onan 4000 is gonna be fantastic, enough power to run the entire coach at the same time. Um, exhaust sphere furnace. This is another something that's that's neat that you'll see in, in Winnebago's, but not hardly in anything else. Your jacks here, when, when they're coming down, they come down independent of each other. The nice thing about that is you, you can actually, they're not full leveling jacks, but you can get yourself, if you're just an inch or two off, you can do them individually and kind of get yourself steady level, then stabilize. It's really a, a nice idea instead of having a single one come down, controlling both. Um, you've got a big dump valve here. So in this particular unit, you've got two gray tanks and you've got one, one black. So you've got 50 gray and 50 black. Um, having them separated is, is a much better idea just because it you know, goes down and pulls out so you don't have any plumbing problems. Um, in your 100 gallons of water, this is where you'll fill it if you're going dry camping. Typically, uh, something like a spider or toy hill or something like that, you're really just not going to go to campgrounds. You're going to dry camp a lot more. So to be able to fill it with a gravity fill is really nice. Also, if, you know, if you're going to be out for longer than that, you can bring extra water to it and actually just take it to it. Um, 30 amp service. Here is your power cord. Um, exhaust for your furnace. You've got some really nice aluminum wheels. Those are nice. They're a lot lighter. They don't, uh, they don't rust. Um, in your docking station here, you've got access to your outside shower, your winterizing kit, um, your parking satellite cable hookups, black tank flush, and fresh water. So if you are at a campground, hook on into this and it pressurizes the whole trailer so you don't have to use your fresh water pump. Um, you've got your fuel station here for your fuel. You've got your pump station where you can tell your levels, and then obviously your, your actual pump nozzle tucks away. That's so great just so you don't have to take the five gallon gas cans with you whenever you go. Um, again, you've got more individual leveling switches here. Um, to have a nice ladder, you do have a fully walkable roof. So to have a ladder that you can take with you, um, it, it retracts and goes back up to the top. 
uh, so it doesn't take up any extra width is really, really nice. Um, this is also something that you're going to see in most, like only in your large, big fifth wheels, is a zero gravity door. And the greatest thing about this door is it's literally one finger, it doesn't come slamming down. Um, with the cables here, it's just r really nice to be able to have to do that. It's a lot easier to, you know, to go up and down. Um, you've got the cables here that turn this into a patio, and then you do have the option to go with the play pin that has the rails around here also. But uh, to have actually see a, you know, a zero gravity door that's just super light like this is definitely a rarity in, in a bumper pull model. Um, you'll notice you do have your LED lights even on your floodlights in the back and it is prepped for a backup camera as well. You've got a pull down screen too where you can see on that yellow tab. That's nice if you're out on the patio you can pull that screen down so you don't get any bugs inside the trailer. Um, coming across the front you've got some really nice speakers. It'll get you a nice you know kind of on your, your front porch here if you're hanging out. You've got power here. Again you've got more satellite and cable hookups here. Nice big grab handle. Um, what these tags are, the Comfort Tech package, that's gonna be your enclosed and insulated in the underbelly as far as your, your, your trailer itself. So you've got ducted heat going down into the underbelly where your pipes and tanks are. That's gonna keep your, your pipes and tanks um, better from, from freezing up. And the Explorer package is your off-road package. So you've got bigger axles, bigger tires, to give you better clearance off the ground. Um, you'll notice it's got quite a bit higher clearance than most of your toilers. All right, come on inside. Starting here, you can tell like the cabinets are huge and they go all the way to the roof. You'll see a lot of cabinets, a lot of trailers that'll stop short and don't give you the full height of your cabinets and storage. These guys go all the way to the top, even to trim it. They just take an, an extra second when they're making a trailer and trim it off nice so it actually matches the ceiling height. Um, you'll notice you've got ducted air conditioning here as well as ducted heating, nice speakers on the ground. Also, these speakers are just, their lights are just touch sensors so you don't have to worry about switches and stuff like that you've got usb charging stations throughout the entire trailer your bed controls are here um, you've got two big actually 60 by 80 queen size beds here that drops down and rolls in you've got lights up on the top lights everywhere so you can have you know wherever somebody's sleeping it's a nice comfortable area um, it's also nice too where this bottom it will drop down into one bed or it splits into two if you've got you know different age kids or different gender kids um, that's nice for them Something like this, a big, huge stainless steel sink with a high-rise faucet. I mean, this is residential stuff that we're talking about here. Um, you know, again, nice. All your cabinets are all true hardwood. They're screwed and glued together. You know, they're not just stapled or faced with wallpaper on them. Uh, nice big windows. You've got a three burner top here, oversized oven. Cabinets are just huge and open. You've also got metal ball bearings on all your drawers. Each drawer here is rated for 50 pounds, in case you need to bring your heavy utensils or whatnot. Um, nice big eight cubic foot fridge, separate freezer. This is a gas or electric refrigerator, so if you are dry camping, you don't have to rely on electricity for power. Nice size microwave. And again, just more storage. You'll see a lot of places, a lot of different places in trailers where they'll have just open spots. These actually finish it off with, you know, with not only a cabinet door, but a gas ram to hold them open. Get those down. Again, just everywhere where there can be just massive amounts of storage, which is really rare in a toy hauler. Usually they have to use all this, the space inside for storage. These guys have you know, designed it enough to where you can. You've got 75 inches wide and 14 inches long in this particular model. Nice big TV here that everybody can see throughout the whole trailer. AM, FM, CD, DVD player, Bluetooth, everything your kids can throw at you, you can watch it on there. Um, you've got a digital thermostat for your heat and AC. Um, also your solar controller here for those two 100 watt panels up on your roof. Um, auto gen start here and all of your readouts. Coming into the bathroom, to actually have a full width shower that has a seat in here, this is nice and, and, and rare too to have a trifold door, opens it up a lot better, gives you a lot better space to come in. You know, nice faucet. It's a really done a lot nicer. It's stuff you'd see in like a, typically have like a fifth wheel. Um, you've got a nice porcelain toilet, you know, that's actually designed to where it's comfortable, it's angled, so you're not having a door hit your knees or something like that. 
but nice and comfortable. Again, stainless steel sinks, even in the bathroom. That's pretty rare. A lot of different companies will kind of, it's on the secondary bathrooms and stuff like that, cheaping out. Seamless countertops. Again, even your, all your framed and real wood cabinets in here. Again, more USB charging stations everywhere where you look. A nice door that's actually framed in that doesn't have big spaces on the top of the bottom. That's residential stuff that you just don't see in trailers typically. You've got a king size bed coming into the master. It's got tons of storage underneath it as well. I love this, the fact that you have storage here and then a secondary pass-through storage on the outside. It's a nice place to like keep your, your bedding, your linens and stuff like that inside and then keep your camp stuff outside. So it separates it. You've actually got a nice inner spring mattress on this too, instead of a piece of foam that you'll see in a lot of the other trailers. You've got wardrobe on both side ends. And then this cabinet does go all the way through. Again, just everything's on a gas ram, really easy to do, open. All of your night shades are easy to open and close. They're the nice pleated shades. Again, like you'll see in residential stuff, more USB and charging stations on both sides of the bed. Um, again, we've been taking a look at, this is Winnebago's new 2020 23FB. Come and see me at Motorsports Land. My name is Scott.